Carver from e-projectmanagers.com with a video tutorial on how to create stoplight status in Microsoft Project Schedules. First, what you're going to do is uh, launch Microsoft Project. Now, stoplight status is basically the green, red, yellow symbols that you can add into a schedule that allow your readers to quickly identify any issues in your project schedule. When you first open Microsoft Project, you're going to select your project schedule. I'm going to work with a blank one, but if you have an existing schedule, you can work with that as well. And uh, we're going to add some uh, test tasks in here just to uh, distinguish between what we're doing so you can see how this works. And uh, for each of these test tasks, I'm going to give them um, just a random duration here. And uh, I'm going to change the date so that they uh, are tasks that might have started in the past. And um, so we can see variety. And I'm going to add one that's in the future. Okay. Now, once you have your tasks and you have your dates in here, um, I want to I want to select a column, right click on it, and select Insert Column. I want to display the percent complete. If you scroll to the very top of the column definition, you can select percent complete and click on OK. Um, after percent complete is inserted, then what you want to do is um, let's we're going to create our stoplight status column by again selecting the column that you want the stoplight status to appear in front of, and then right clicking and select insert column. This will be a numeric column, so if you type the, the letter N on your keyboard, it'll scroll to the N sections in the field name, and we're going to select number one, since I know number one is not already used. And for the title, we're going to type in the word status. Click on OK. So here we have the status column. Now the next thing you're going to do is um, you're going to create a uh, custom formula for this column. How you do that is you select the column title, which highlights the whole column, right click and go to custom fields. When the custom fields dialog box pops up, you'll see that we are in um, the column number one and we're going to add a formula to column number one by clicking on the formula button in the custom attributes section. So I click on formula and the formula dialog box pops up. And what we're going to do basically is we're going to use the project schedule fields, which are all the fields, all the columns that you see in Microsoft Project are considered fields. Microsoft Project also has a number of functions which you can use. And we're going to also use these command buttons that you see here to build a custom formula. It's really quite easy, so don't be uh, intimidated. But uh, if you click on function, I'm sorry, if you click on, yeah, function, and then go to general and select if expression, we're going to build this out of an if expression. The first expression we're going to build is, um, I'm just going to highlight the word expression because we're going to replace that with um, the fields and functions for the expression. So if you highlight that word expression, this expression is going to be replaced with um, the field finish date and percent complete. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to, we're going to select finish date and we're going to check to see if it's less than or equal to today's date and whether or not the percent complete is not equal 100%. Because if the finish date is less than today's date and the task is not done, then we want to highlight that as red. So if, and we're going to select the uh, field finish date, so we go to date, select finish, and then we go over here to this button and select less than or equal to, so we're going to get rid of the space, by the way, between less than and equal to, so it's together like this. Um, if the finish date is less than or equal to today's date, which is another function, so we go to function, date, select date, okay, and we're going to click on the and button to put the word and in there. Percent complete, which is um, another field in Microsoft Project, so we go to field, select work, uh, I'm sorry, not work. We go to field and select, uh, let's see, where is percent complete? Hold on one second. It's under, here we go, under number. So if percent complete um, is not equal 
to 100, so we're going to type 100, then if that's true, this will turn red. And for us, um, 0 is green, 1 is yellow, 2 is red, and 3 is null. So on a separate piece of paper, you should write down right now, 0 equals green, 1 equals yellow, 2 equals red, 3 equals null. Okay. So in this case, we're going to replace true because if the finished date is less than or equal to today's date and the percent complete is not 100%, then we want this to be red, which will be 2. Okay. Then it, if that's not true, then we're going to add another uh, expression here. We're going to go to function, select general, and enter another if expression. And we replace that false statement with if and another expression. So we're going to replace this expression with, uh, we're going to check the start date. And if the start date is less than today's date, less than or equal to today's date, and the percent complete is zero, that means a task hasn't started and it should have, then we want to flag that. We're going to make it yellow. So if start, we're going to go to field, go to date, select start is less than, we're going to select less than from um, the command button here, less than or equal to, and again we're going to get rid of the spaces that it puts in here, uh, less than or equal to uh, today's date, select function date, and select and, percent complete, so we're going to field, um, let's see, I always forget where this is, uh, okay, number, percent complete, so and the percent complete equals zero. So if the start date is less than today's date and the percent complete equals zero, meaning it hasn't started, then we want to flag this, if this is true, we want to flag this, we're going to make it yellow. We said one would be yellow, so we're going to replace the true word here with the number one, and that'll be yellow. Then we're going to enter one last expression where we check to see if a task is done. So function, general, uh, if expression, and the expression in this case is going to be um, if the percent complete is a hundred. So if um, I have a mental block with this. If percent complete uh, equals, and then you type 100, meaning it's done, then 3. And 3 we said is going to be null. We're not going to assign any graphical images to that. Um, else, the end condition for this, if they're all false, will be green. That means everything is okay. And green we said equals 0. So you type 0 and then click on OK. Now the first time you, you create a formula, Microsoft Project will come back and tell you that the existing data in the number one field will be deleted because all the values will now be calculated by the formula we just created. And that's OK. That's what we want. It says to replace the data in field number one, um, click on OK, else click on Cancel to go back. We're going to click on OK. So we have that now in there um, for the field number one. Next you're going to um, put in the graphical indicators. And how you do that is you click on Graphical Indicators Command button, and we're going to assign a value and an image to each of the numbers that we um, mentioned in the formula. So if the output equals value of zero, we said that's green, we want the image to appear green, we're going to select the green smiley face. If the uh, value of the output equals one, then we want yellow. If the value of the output equals 2, in the image column we're going to select red, is that. And if it equals 3, we're not going to select anything. And we'll click on OK, click on OK, and save. Okay? So here we are now. You can see the status column. Um, and uh, we're going to add some, some data in here. Let's just say if this is 50% complete, it stays red because the date has already passed. If, if um, this was 100%, notice it goes away because we said um, if it's done, then it's null and there's no image. Now this is something that should have started on Friday and it didn't. 
um, if we change it to, I don't know, 12%, then notice it turns green. Um, these are green because uh, they're within the time frame of our project. Today is the 21st. Um, but let's say this should have started uh, last week or two weeks ago. And it hasn't. It's zero. That means it will appear yellow. Okay? So, um, again, I just want to show you really quickly. Oops, let me just delete some stuff here. Um, what we are working with is there's a formula which is based on the fields in Microsoft Project. There's a finished field, there's a percent complete field which we show in our project schedule, there's a start field that we show in our project schedule, and again we're working with numbers where this is a numeric column and the output of um, these condition statements is a numeric value. So um, we, we assigned uh, 0 to be green, 1 to be yellow, 2 to be red, and 3 to be null. You can make this up and, and assign whatever numeric value you want. It's just uh, you need to write it down and remember it so that when you go to the graphical indicator you put in the right value. Um, so again how you read this is um, you know if the finish date is less than or equal to today's date and the percent complete is not equal to 100 meaning it's the finish date is passed and it's not done, then it's red. That's what number two is. Else, if that's not true, then um, if the start date is less than today's date and the percent complete is zero, meaning it should have started and it didn't, then we want to flag that as yellow. That's what number one is down here. And if the percent complete is is 100 percent, that means it's done, then we want this to be three. And three is null. We didn't assign a graphical image to three. Okay. Um, if it doesn't meet any of these conditions, it's green, which means it's good to go, and that's what uh, zero is. So this is this is how you add um, stoplight status. Uh, you know, it's very handy. Um, it really does help um, make tasks stand out. Um, I typically format my schedules like this, and then I'm working with my teams. It helps them because a lot of people have a difficult time. Um, literally just reading each row of a project schedule and if you put a graphical indication in here it helps them to be able to zoom in and identify um, any issues within a project schedule. I also recommend um, creating a um, custom column when you baseline your schedule and you can also and we'll I'll show you how to do this in another tutorial but you can also once you baseline your project schedule have a custom column that gives an indication of when your baseline changes if that's information you'd like to see. Um, with custom columns you can be creative. Uh, whatever you want to graphically show an indication for you can do. Um, it's just a matter of knowing how to come in, go to the custom fields, and build a formula that works logically in the way that you need it to. And sometimes you might need to play with it a little bit to get it to work. Um, I know I did the first few times I used this, but um, after, you're, after you've used it a few times, you'll become familiar with it. It's really pretty straightforward. All you're doing is using the fields that exist in Microsoft Project, which are these columns, and the specific functions that are available to you um, through this formula tool, along with adding and subtracting and dividing and, you know, greater than or less than, all these logical operators, okay? So uh, that's all we're working with here. and. Um, that's how you create stoplight status in your project schedule. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for your time and have an excellent day.